Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at an anti-Root Rider base here from WBB. This one built by Underrated. We're going to be taking a look at a couple of different Root Rider attacks attempted on this base. This first one here starting off with a little bit of a queen charge. And then we do have the seven Root Riders and we got a bunch of Valkyries to back it up currently with a battle drill selected. So we'll see how this entry goes. He does have that new frozen arrow. We got the Valkyrie on the bottom side setting the funnel queen pushing in towards the Eagle Artillery. And she is going to take her time getting in there to get that taken down. In the meantime, we do have the Valkyrie still going on the bottom side, getting a few extra buildings. Finally goes down. There's the Rage for the Queen, mostly to speed her up. But she will be stepping into some damage here. Drops the Invis as well. Not sure that was totally necessary, but it does save the Unicorn, I suppose. So there we go. Unicorn still alive. Queen getting through the Ricochet Cannon. Down it goes. She'll push in, grab the Multi. Nice pathing there for that Queen's initial push. But he does go with the Recall as the CC troops do come out. We got the Queen back in on the top side of the base and here we go a couple more valkyries there with her they're going to help get rid of these archers and then help work on these ice golems while that happens we do have the root rider spam with the valkyries here on the right side of the base we got the grand warden in the king the battle drill we got the tesla farm popping up on that right corner and that's going to throw off the pathing just a bit for these root riders as they are trying to push in for that town hall compartment but that's going to draw them over towards the right side a bit but they do come back in towards the multi archer tower we do have the Town Hall Awake now pops the King's ability and everything's going to smash right on through. We do have one Rage left. He's going to drop it here towards the core of the base. But it looks like the Root Riders pushing through that Town Hall Poison are thinning out quite a bit already. That Queen's still on the top side of the base. Finally done with the Clan Castle troops. We got the enemy RC still up there finishing off those couple of Valkyries that were with her. The RC in the core of the base is going to have to go to ability here and take a bit more damage from the enemy RC. Battle Drill opens up in the core and everything's starting to slow down quite a bit. We still have the King on the bottom side, the Queen charge on the top side, but that RC is still taking a lot of damage, finds the Tornado there, down goes the RC, and then down go all the troops out of that Battle Drill as well. So at this point in the attack, it's all up to just the King and the Queen. Queen finally making her way down and around, will push in towards the core. Those healers finding all the air traps and goodbye healers. No more Queen charge here. The King's gonna go to Phoenix on the outside of the base, and that is going to wrap up a nice defense here for the first example. Queen not quite able to get through that ricochet cannon, and the Phoenix maybe could finish up the rest of the base, but only if it doesn't find any traps. Here we go into the next attack. This one is going to be Super Archer Blimp Root Riders with Super Barbarians. And we'll see this coming in from the top side of the base. There we go with the Lava Hound. Blimp's coming in and it's going to make its way in towards the Town Hall compartment and drops it in. There we go. But we got a giant bomb. We got mini bombs and goodbye Super Archers. They are gone. Luckily for the attacker, he does notice. So he does stop dropping spells uh, a lot of attackers here would go ahead and drop their clones drop their rage and the next invis before they even realize the archers are gone so a little bit fortunate on that but still super unfortunate for him to lose those super archers pretty much immediately here and they got absolutely nothing so now he's got to push into the town hall and that's exactly what he's doing here super barbarians around the outside again we see that tesla farm on the right side of the base and we got the hero dive pushing in for this town hall we got the root riders there as well with the heroes we do have that rage jam with the grand warden we can see that's going to help push the root riders through the defenses just a little bit faster and here we go pops warden's ability town hall of course is active king pushing his way in trying to help get this cleared out but the root riders are skipping around again that pathing on the right side is just keeping them away from the town hall just a little bit longer but the queen finishes it up and the root riders path in and again straight through that town hall poison so that is doing a lot of damage here to the root riders as they make their way into the core and not only that but also slowing them down quite a bit we got the royal champion from the bottom side of the base she gets distracted by the enemy queen she's going to skip around that scatter shot make her way in drops the invis she will finally finish up that scatter shot we still have some root riders pushing into the core we got the queen we got the grand warden the king is also still got his ability intact but the root riders trying to make their way through they're still moving very slowly in towards the core of the base drops in the last invis here to try to keep them alive just a little bit longer pushing through the multi inferno but that ricochet cannon and that defensive rage doing a lot of work here so the root riders are gone down goes the queen we got the king on the bottom side of the base we still have one root rider a few other troops but this attack has definitely fizzled out there's nothing left and this is going to fall well short of getting the triple 
All right, here we go. Last attack replay of this video. We've got yet another approach with the Root Rider. Something a little bit different here. He is going to be starting off this attack with the Warden Walk. He's going to try to clear out this entire left corner with the Warden, including the Eagle Artillery. And this is a very long Warden Walk, so we are going to kind of speed this up just a bit. As you can see the Warden going through, he's going to drop in the Rage to speed it up a bit here as well to get that Eagle down. So there we go. Finally, the Warden's onto the Eagle. We'll let it get back to normal speed here as the Eagle goes down. We do have the funnel started at the 12 o'clock corner and we're going to full send these root riders from that top left side of the base and here we go king queen are in we got the apprentice warden we've got the root riders we've got the log launcher as well and a couple of ice golems there to try to get some tanking through the middle of the base and there we go early rage root riders opening up the walls going to lead everything perfectly in except for the barbarian king and the ice golems are going to kind of drift up towards the top side of the base but no big deal here we do have a heal spell in the core of the base as the root riders start to make their push in Log Launcher doing a nice job getting things opened up. Pops of Warden's ability. We can see he's got the Healing Tome here as well to keep everything in nice and healthy. He's got a Rage, an aggressive Rage into the back end of the base, but we do have the big group of Root Riders there moving straight towards that Town Hall. We got Ice Golems on the top side popping. King still walking around the outside of the base. We got the Royal Champion down the middle joined up with the Queen. And the healer's kind of sticking with the queen now. So it's become kind of a queen charge in the core of the base. The root riders able to get through the town hall, but they don't have much support down there. And once again, that town hall poison is in such a perfect spot. Everything is getting absolutely obliterated in that compartment. Even though this time around they're coming in from the opposite way, it still works out the same way. Everything on the right side of the base is dead. It's going to be down to the heroes to try to finish up this base. Now he does have a little under a minute left in the attack to go, but the RC goes down. And that scatter shot stays up on that left side, and that's actually going to be huge. But the Diggy joins up with the Queen. She's got the Unicorn. She's got some of the healers, uh, whatever one she doesn't lose. But we do still have the Monolith, the Warden Tower, the Teslas on the right side. And then, of course, that scatter shot on the left side, which is currently doing some damage to the healers to try to take those down. There we go. We're going to pop Queen's ability, get through the Monolith, get through the uh, Warden Tower and all these other buildings here on the right side of the base. The clock's still ticking, though. It has taken him quite a while to get through all this stuff. That one Electro Titan's still alive, but it's low. It's not going to be super helpful, especially towards the back end. We'll go ahead and speed things up once again as the Queen makes her way back, but it doesn't matter because the clock has run out of time. And there we have it. If you guys want to try this base for yourself, the link is down in the description below. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you all next time.